everybody, it's Inspired Jill Mint, and today we're going to be working on a sleek and sexy turtleneck. And don't worry, I know it's not in season, but we're cleaning out our closets this summer, and that's what I'm doing. And also for this new episode of Kawaii Revamp. So, let's get started! So, here is the before look of my turtleneck. It was super loose. I mean, it was a good hand-me-down, sort of, goodwill thrift store find. But at the same time, it was just too big at weird parts like my armpits, around my neck, around my like my wrist. It just didn't make me feel comfortable wearing it, and especially when I overlayered with a dress. So we're just going to fit it up before we start the designs. So don't worry about the length of it, actually. You can cut it short and hem it if you have the same problem. So before we actually get started on the details area of the heart, I'm going to actually put my silhouette inside out of the turtleneck and then I'm going to pin it. By doing this, I'm taking the sides that do not fit right and I'm going to just hem it in. And I'm doing it by a 2 inch to 3 inch distance. Once you have that, you want to sew it down and then iron your seams so it looks very good when you wear it because you don't want this to look wrinkly. And then you just close it up with a zigzag stitch or a serge or a serger machine. Oh, look at my little buddy Jack. He's so cute. He's always there. Now, before we finish up with the neck area, I'm actually going to use a piece of paper and fold it in half. By making a heart shape by using the folded paper, I'm using my scissors to cut it out. Once it's cut out, I'm actually going to place it onto my turtleneck in the adjusted area I want it to be. Once I have my cutout cute and complete, I'm going to get ready to sew my neck area and then outline the heart onto the turtleneck. And once I've outlined it in pin, I'm going to cut out the rest of the excess that covers it up. Now, once you cut out the excess fabric, what you want to do is take your sewing pins and you're going to fold in the hem of the heart. By doing this, it's going to help outline it. And need be, this is what it's going to look like when you finish pinning it. Now that everything is pinned, now you can sew, sew, sew it up. And it's going to look so cute. But try not to rush it because if you do, you're going to end up with really messed up stretchy turtleneck issues. So what I do is after I've sewn it, I'm going to iron it down. By doing this, it actually gives me a good area and good kind of perspective of what to do next for my details. And make sure that you're doing this on the ironing board, and if you don't have an ironing board, make sure you're doing it on a towel, because you do not want to mess up your floor, girl. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute and fitted. Now, girl, you can get started on your details. And I'm going to start off with the heart. So before I even go any further, I kind of accidentally forgot to serge mine and iron down the seam. So this is what it actually looks like. To make the outlining white of the heart that I did previously, you're going to take your cutout and you're going to place it onto the fabric. And then draw it out with a pen and then cut it out and do the same method as you did as the earlier cutout. Yes! So now you have that done, you can actually get started on the cute little details and however you want your actual turtleneck to look like. I hope you guys can send me pictures of what yours looks like because I'm really interested. But all I really did for mine was I used a blue piece of baby felt fabric and I folded it in half and used a really long sexy. You should definitely show it off whenever is appropriate. But yes, I would always say pair this with a skirt or some really cute high shorts. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial today. I will try to work on more kawaii revamps or some more DIYs for your clothes to revamp or upcycle. And don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness. And it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. And I'll see you lovely ladies later and gentlemen. Bye!